So a guy brought something into your lips while in the dark and said eat. I think that's a bad idea to eat it. <laughs> hey there guys, it's JT here. I'm Philip Peter Gamer in Amber Sword for Bad English. Welcome back to Horror Wednesday. And the game today is Evil Beneath the Ground. This game is from Game Jolt. It was only posted two days ago. It's like a simulation horror game. And it is a perfect game for me to play today because I want to play a less pressured horror game. Just a relaxing one, but a horror game. So let's play this game. Press and key to continue. You are a young university student who considers himself as a god. What's a god? You are a lonely person. People think that you want to be alone, but in fact, you couldn't find someone you felt affinity. What's affinity? I'm sorry, my vocabulary is not that good. Everyone is so distant from you. Nobody you know listens to the music that you love, like Bohus, This Mortal Coil, The Sister of Mercy, etc. What? What, what are those songs? Maybe those are satanic music, that's why no one listens to it. What? You heard about a university trip to a lake in the forest around it in autumn. There will be a picnic, also alcohol is permitted, you could bring your own drinks. You joined the trip. Not only maybe you could make some new friends, but you also love the nature, especially when the season is cold. <laughs> but of course, you couldn't make new friends once again. During the two hours of bus travel, you found out that every other student who joined the trip were already friends. They simply ignored you and also didn't approach them. As a result, all you could do during the bus trip were looking outside the window or play games on your phone while you listened to their joyful laughters. Oh, such a loner, man. Just talk to someone like, hi, then stare at them for like 10 seconds. If they don't reply, nice to meet you. You say that. That is how you make friends. <laughs> You have mixed feelings against this picnic by the lake. You can't feel you can't feel yourself as a part of the joyful youth who is enjoying the nature trip. Then why did you go? Why did you go in the first place? After having a picnic barbecue, they play the game with a ball in which they form the circle and try not to let the in-air ball touch the ground. Everyone participated in the game except for you. Wow. You should have not gone, man. You should have gone with them. But you enjoyed the nature trip somehow. As said before, you loved the nature. You took pictures of the lake with your phone. You didn't plan to post pictures anywhere though. And there's the huge forest near the picnic area. You have always found a peace in the green of the forest. After sunset, people began to light a campfire and drink. People around your age generally prefer beer, but you don't like it. You feel it overfills your stomach and causes nausea. 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 How do you pronounce that? After two cans. Instead, you prefer stronger drinks. Today, you brought a bottle of red wine in a wine glass. A picnic and a bottle of wine. Wow. No, that's not good. They gather around the campfire when you drank your wine alone away from them. A handsome guy brought his guitar from the bass. From the bass. Bus. Bass. I don't know how to pronounce that good. <laughs> My accent is really different. And began playing around with fire. Well, you have finished your second glass of wine. Campfire and moon illuminate the darkness. Sun already has set. There are about five hours for the picnic to end. You will be going back to the city with buses. He's playing a calming song. You might join a group, but you feel a strong urge to have walk in the dark forest. Now we have choices. Either we join the group and go to the forest. So this game will be like this. There will be choices as I progress on. And, and the story will change based on the choices I made. So what should we do guys? Join the group or go to the forest? If I'm this kind of person who is lonely, who is a loner, I will join the group to make some friends. I will not go to the forest which is, which is dark and scary. No, I'm gonna join the group. You approach the group. Two girls notice you. Ooh, hello girls. See? See? Two girls already noticed me. I'm, I'm really that good. They open a space for you to sit between them. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yes. That's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. One of them is blonde. Ooh, yes, jackpot for JT. The other has a long black hair. Ooh, brunette. They were, they wear colorful clothes, contrasting with your black outfit. <gasps> okay, so there's, 
Okay, there are four choices. How are you? What are your names? Don't talk to them. Leave them without saying anything. Mm. Of course, I'm gonna ask, what are your names? The one with the black hair says, we have boyfriend. <laughs> really? Really? Girls, I'm just asking, what is your name? I'm not asking, can I be your boyfriend? What? See, I only ask your names. Don't talk to them, leave them without saying anything. I only ask your names. You were trying so hard, aren't you? The bland says they both laugh. Wow, that is so rude. Fuck you, I've tried to be so nice. <laughs> what? Come on, developer, really? Really? Leave them without saying anything. Okay, I feel so embarrassed, I'm gonna leave. I'm not gonna say things to them. Or maybe they should. Or maybe they deserve it. They deserve it. <laughs> they don't like what you say, but they don't react either. They keep sipping their beers as you leave them. Ooh, burn, bitches, burn! <laughs> you can stay with the other students or go to the forest. Hmm, I think the forest are good friends. Let's go to the forest. You stand up and wander away from the camp. You feel the cold of the dark forest, so you walk along the path into the forest. Okay, there is no sound. I've already played a horror game before that in the beginning there is no sound and then suddenly BAM! I hope this is not that kind of horror game. Okay. You see, you stand up and wander away from the camp, you feel the call of the dark forest, so you walk along the path into the forest. The trees are high and still green, maybe they stay in green all seasons, you don't know, your field is not biology. The soil is wet and muddy, it must have rained before your group arrives at the lake. You leave boot prints on the soil as you walk. Excuse me. <clears throat> there are no clouds in the sky, full moon and stars illuminate the forest, but that's not enough for your eyes. You turn on the flashlight of your phone. You turn on the flashlight of your phone, there is an app for it too. You can clearly see but notice rabbits in the distance. Oh no, there there are those are not rabbits. There ain't no rabbits in the forest. Naturally, they run from you as they notice your presence. You begin to think that you might have gone too far away from the camp, but there is nothing interesting in the camp area. You somehow feel like the darkness of the forest is your friend. Only friend. <laughs> so shall we continue the path or back to the camp? I'm not no scared cat. This man is not a scared cat. JT is not a scared cat, so I'm gonna continue on the path. You continue on the forest path. After a few minutes, you notice footprints on the soil. They seem to belong to a human with bare big feet. Probably a man. The print crossed the path. <gasps> okay, follow him, go to where he comes from. Okay, what's the difference between that? You're gonna follow the footprints and go to where he comes from. It's the same. Okay, I think I'm gonna follow him. Go to where he comes from. Okay, that's better. You decide to go to the place where he comes from. After a long walk, you find yourself at a hole. There's a lid and a long rope near it. Okay, someone just killed himself. The man clearly comes from the hole. His footprints show it. When you hold your phone's light in the black hole, you see that there's a ladder inside the hole. You can see the end of the hole from your position. As a curious and drunk boy, you feel a strong urge to descend. Okay, so there are particles showing on the screen i thought it's just my screen that is dirty <laughs> okay turn back to the camp descend we have gone too far to go back to the camp so i'm gonna descend <clears throat> as you need to use your both hands to climb down you put your phone into your jeans pocket turning off the light you start climbing down after a few seconds the morning stars above no longer illuminate what you see you're in a pitch black and the ladder still continues Finally, your feet touch the ground. You're so distant from the forest that you can see the entrance to the hole from where you are. If you carefully get on your two feet, you can see nothing yet. Okay, I'm gonna turn on the lights. There's no other choice. So, will there be a picture? Okay. Okay, so this is gonna be all text-based. The place where you are is made of concrete. There is a long corridor in front of you. It is narrow, about a meter wide. It is not very high. There are only a few centimeters between your head and the ceiling of the corridor. You you smell a terrible odor. Okay, someone is dead. Someone is dead in this hole. It's the mixture of feces and something you can't understand. What the hell is a feces? Okay, I'm gonna search on Miriam Webster on my app, on my cell phone. Okay, solid waste that is released from the body. Okay, it's shit. There are three doorless holes along the concrete corridor, making the tree room to discover it. Okay, so should I climb up? Should I climb up? I'm pretty sure if I climb up, the man is already there. I'm gonna be dead. Um, let's go to the third room. I know, let's go to the second room, the one that's in the middle. I always go in the middle. You are shocked to find a chained woman in this room. 
A chain is tied on her ankle. She is around 40 she is around 40 years too weak. Her bones are noticeable. Oh. And has a pale skin with a lot of scars. She is on her knees. She is naked. Her body is slightly hairy except for her pubic area that is quite hairy. Oh, she's naked. Oh. Con contrasting to her hairy body, her head is shaved. Oh. She th she stinks awful, not only the smell of feces, but also it looks like she wasn't washed for years. She screams as you point the light to her. Try to save her? No! She might kill me. I'm gonna ask, who are you? She doesn't answer a question but tells with despair. Help me! He keeps me here! I'm gonna save her. You crouch down to her tight foot. There's no way you can remove the bracelet from her ankle. You also notice that her pinky toe is missing. Let me try to find the key. What happened to your toe? What happened to your toe? He made me eat it! Ah, oh, that's awful. You crouch down to her tight foot. There's no way you can remove the bracelet from her ta 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 Let me try and find a key. You leave to try you try to leave the room but something you don't understand happens. At the exit of the room you hit something that wasn't visible in front of you. Yes, you saw nothing in front of you, you yet you hit something. You f Maybe it's a wall. You fall to the floor and an invisible force scares you and repeatedly smashes your head to the wall. You hear the woman screaming as you black out. Oh, that's the man! When you wake up, you find yourself lying on the concrete floor in the pitch darkness. By the smell, you understand that you're in the same place. Whoever is keeping you captive... <laughs> he stripped you from all clothes. You're naked and cold. Damn, you naked boy. Is your head shaved too? There is a gag on your mouth, so you can't shout and communicate with a woman. She might have gagged too. You stand up and try to walk away, but your ankle is tied with a chain. You can walk up in... You can walk only in a chamber with one meter of radius. You, your foot touches a metal bucket. What? Your feet touches a metal bucket. It's probably where it keeps you to def defecate. Okay, that's very really shit. You lose all your sense of time here. You wait for an uh, unmeasurable time for something to happen. You're thirsty and hungry. Sometimes you hear your phone rings. It is in a different room. The piano melody is It's the Fear by Within Temptation. The ironic name of your situation. <laughs> they probably notice that you're missing and trying to reach you. Especially your parents, they must have become mad. Of course, you can answer the call. Finally, you hear footsteps. You hear your captor coming to your room. You're unable to see anything. He takes your gag off. Apparently, he has a problem with seeing in the pitch black. And you hear his voice. Drink. It belongs to an old man. A dominant ordering voice. You feel the tip of, you feel the tip of a bucket on your lips. Okay, I'm not gonna ask question. That is bad. Asking a question on your captor is bad. Just drink. I'm just gonna drink. It is water what he is offering. You drink it. Not the best water you drank. It could be taken from the lake, but you have no other choice, it seems like. Well, if you're thirsty, you're not gonna choose. There's no other choice, man. After you drink enough, he puts the bucket on the ground. Now he brings something else into your lips. Eat. You're too hungry to refuse him. So a guy brought something into your lips while in the dark and said eat I think that's a bad idea to eat it <laughs> okay I'm gonna go for eat there's no other choice you allow him to put the thing in your mouth <laughs> it's meat but raw <laughs> you will never eat raw meat except for sushi but now you chew it slowly it is rabbit he says you shallow the meat despite how it disgusts you okay it's rabbit Okay, I thought wrong. I'm sorry. After you eat all he gives you, he puts the gag in your mouth and leaves the room without saying anything. After a while, he comes back as you were lying on the floor. Stand up. After a while, he comes back as you were lying on the floor. Stand up. He orders you. You get on your two feet clumsily, grab your body and you feel two sharp fangs in your neck. He starts draining your blood and you understand the true nature of your captor. I don't know, I don't, I don't know about you guys, but I'm really imagining this on my head and it's really good. And a while ago, I was really imagining the meat. <laughs> you have no idea how long you have been prisoner here. You're mostly alone in the room, you're doing nothing with a gag on your mouth. He occasionally comes back to feed you and himself. Sometimes you hear loud sounds from the other room. He tortures the woman. She screams and begs him to stop, but he doesn't. You hear, you hear a whip hit the naked flesh of the woman, but for some reason it doesn't hurt you. Only the woman. What? You haven't seen anything for a long time, you have no idea how it looks like. I can't imagine what is on the minds of people being 
captive on a place like this you know will will you really go insane i've seen a lot of movies like this but will you really go insane sometimes you hear sobbing but it doesn't belong to the woman to the captor he cries lovely for some reason some day or night you can figure out he shows up and takes her gag off i have done research about you learned everything about you he says her name shocking you wow we have some common points we both like the dark we are both outcast, lonely souls in this world of darkness. I will make you an offer, only once. So make your decision wisely. I think sh I think that guy is gonna ask my hand on marriage. I can make you immortal like me. You will no longer be in chains. You will live or unlive in the dark, like you always wanted. Or you can stay as immortal and wait for David to die here as my prisoner. Okay, okay. Did someone just offer me immortality? You should no longer think what the answer will be. Yes will always be the answer. I want to be an immortal. Very well, he says. Stand up. You stand up and allow your master to embrace you. Wow, you call him master now? You feel his fangs through your neck once again. Oh, fangs! He's a freaking vampire. That's why the old lady... That's why the woman is thin, sucking his blood, sucking, sucking her blood. But this time it doesn't stop you. You feel your whole blood is getting drained. Soon you lose consciousness. Oh! Oh, now it's red! You open your eyes. You find yourself lying in a wooden coffin. It's a vampire! But this time you're able to see. There isn't any single light source in the concrete room, but you see your environment as if you are wearing night vision goggles. You're, you're wearing your old clothes and also gloves so you can see your skin. You have lost your hair, it has shedded, your old hair is on the coffin part that you put your head on. And you feel your face change too. But the most significant change is an unbearable thirst, but not for water. Yep, you're now a vampire, bro. Welcome to my new start, my child day. You hear his voice. You look around the room, but you can't see him. There are two coffins in the mirror in the room. They think that our kind can be seen in the mirror. False. Take a look at yourself. You step outside the coffin and walk to the mirror. You're in terror in what you see in the mirror. You don't carry a human face anymore. Your skin has scales like a snake. It is color is a light gray. Its color is light. Its color is a light gray, almost white. Your ears are long and have a pointed tip. Your eyes are all red. You slowly open your mouth to see your sharp teeth. <laughs> you scream, break down and cry in despair. Then you feel his hand, claw to be exact, on your shoulder and stands on your back. Now you're able to see his hand, it's scaled like your skin. Look at me. He orders you and for some reason you can't disobey your master. Your involuntary look at the mirror to see the mortality entity behind you. His body is tall, naked and has a humpback. His skin is almost white and scaled, but his face, it is the ugliest thing you have ever seen. It's the embodiment of evils, torture, murder, rape, and envy. Envy for everything that is pretty and fair. I will teach you everything I know. Your new and only now parent says with a hideous smile. The end. Ho <laughs> Okay, so that guy is a vampire. That is why that woman is all naked. He has been feeding himself by the on the blood of that woman oh wow that was a good story man that's a, that's a good one though actually i never expected it that way okay i'm gonna try the other endings i'm just gonna skip 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 some parts so i'll see you guys later okay we're back here uh i'm gonna ask okay i'm gonna i'm not gonna talk to them i'm just gonna stay no talk to them you can stay with the other students or go to the forest i'm gonna stay um, nothing interesting happened the rest of the day. You finish your bottle of fun. You can make any friends as usual. When the time comes, you get on the bus and go back to the city. Yes. Yes, it's a lame ending. But at least you're still alive and human. Oh! Okay, so that is, that's what happens if you stay and not talk to them. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna ask a different question. How are you? Brown girl says, we are fine. Did the leader say anything else or ask you how you are? Um, okay, so it's gonna go back to what are your names? Talk, talk to them. Okay, let's see. What are your names? We have boyfriends. Only ask your names. Okay, so it's gonna go like that. Leave them without saying anything. Okay. Follow him. I'm gonna follow him. You follow the footprints? Okay, here we go. 
You follow the footprints of the soil, they keep changing directions, you find yourself at an elevation and the prints stop here. Whoever was walking didn't leave prints those you could follow anymore. You might have gone anywhere as you didn't follow a single direction. Okay, so it's still leading to go to where it comes from. Um, okay, I'm gonna go to the other room. First, go. let's go to the first room. There is an empty wooden coffin, a mirror hangs on the concrete wall, a bloody razor and a black whip is standing in the front of the mirror. In the mirror, you see your reflection in the terror in your face. Okay. Oh, so this is where I woke up a while ago, in the wooden coffin when I accepted immortality. Okay, so th that is the first room, I'm gonna go to the third room. You see a chain tied to the wall, it has a bracelet It has a bracelet at its end. There are two metal buckets, they are both empty, you notice a metal key at the floor. Oh, there's the key! Take the key! Okay, suddenly there's a sound. What? Let's go to the second room, I'm gonna free her. I'm gonna free her, try to save her. Okay, I'm gonna try to save her again. Oh, what? Why is there suddenly a sound? You crouch down to her tied foot. With the key you got, you unlock the bracelet, she is free. You also notice that her pinky toe is missing. Run with her. You hold the woman's hand and rush to the ladder. Your other hands hold your phone so that you enlighten the corridor. But as you reach the ladders, you feel something hits your stomach. You can't understand it. You saw nothing in front of you, but still there is something. Your phone falls to the ground, you can't see anything. The woman screams, oh no, he came! You feel something grabs you and smashes your head to the concrete walls. You black out. Okay, so it's the same. It's all the same. Yep, it's the same narration. Yep, she, he got me. He got me. Yep, he got me. Okay, I'm not gonna drink. I'm gonna say, who are you? I'm your new master. You better not, you better behave well. You're mine now. No drink, or I would give you it once again. Okay. Okay, there's no other choice. I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna eat his meat. Stand up. Okay. Okay, so we so we see he still caught he still caught us. Okay, I've done research about you. I already know that. No, I want to stay as a human. I think the ending will be I'm gonna be dead. Yep. I want to stay human. Suddenly you feel a sharp pain in your shoulders, you hear the loud sound of whip. He whips you continuously, feeling zero empathy for the agony you feel on your bare skin. Ah! Oh! You could be a predator like me. You chose me, fuck toy. Your mind's a torment. You understand? It? He shouts at you. He kicks you and leaves you sobbing on the floor. You can do nothing but hope that sweet death will come soon. But it never comes. Okay! That is the third ending, everybody. Okay, so the first one is that. If I stay, I'm gonna be alive with no friends. The second one is that if I go to the forest, if I don't stay and go to the forest, I'm gonna get to the hole and I'm gonna be immortal. I'm gonna live forever, bitches. And the third one is that I'm gonna reject his offer and he's gonna kill me. I'm gonna be a fuck toy. That's not so bad. Just kidding. <laughs> so that is. Okay, so that was a good one. That's a good story. That was really interesting from the start to the finish. From a lonely boy to a vampire. From a lonely boy to a dead guy. I like the story. It's really intriguing from the start to finish. But you know what's missing? The background music. A horror game is not good without a background music. But I think it fits the game. The quietness. The reading, just the reading part makes you intrigue. Well, actually, that is how you read creepypasta stories. No sounds. But if it's a game, it deserves a sound to make the gamer feel the horror, the terror, the atmosphere, the game. Yeah, that is why, you know, Mr. Nightmare adds sounds on his narration of horror. Yeah. So I think the sound is the only thing missing. 
I was really shocked a while ago that suddenly there is a sound, like picking up the keys, unlocking the chains. Why? 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 You, sh you could have added the sound when I'm going back to the floor, when I fell down, those kinds of things. But the only sound was unlocking the chains. Or maybe I just destroyed the game? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, so that's all I want to say about this game. That is Evil Beneath the Ground, everybody. Thank you guys for watching. Please do leave a like if you like this video and comment on what you think about this game. Comment on how I narrated it. Was it good or my pronunciation was really bad? Or my accent is really bad? Comment it below and subscribe for more. And yes, there are more videos like this to come. Thanks again, guys. And I'm going to see you next week's or Wednesday and this is JT signing off.